Okay, interview with Steve Watson. Well, Steve, congratulations, another big win for you. Yeah, it was a big win. It was a, it was a very big win on the back of, um, of three, three decent performances and, and, and you know, scoring goals, which is good. You know, we've scored 12 goals in the last four games, which is excellent. But I just thought, since I've been here, we've not really ground out a really sort of nasty uh, one nil or, or and I think that was what that was, second half especially today. Um, we, we grounded out, we, 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 we defended the box excellently. Um, I don't think I don't think the keeper has worked. Um, I thought the lads in front of him were, were superb, and including himself, his own start position was excellent today. Uh, Grandy and Harrison were dominant. Um, and uh, obviously having, having experience in both fullback areas helped. So, and then everybody else worked the socks off, so it was just, it was a hard, it was a hard earned uh, win today, but uh, one we definitely needed. I mean, so there's plenty of ways to, in which to win a football game, isn't there? And when we were 1 0 there in the second half and things weren't really going for us, it was important to keep it at 1 0 and try and see the game out that way, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It's like, as you say, we, 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 the performance against Southport and the performance against Kettering, you know, they the, the look, the look brilliant, but the, the three points today was, was every bit as important as that. So uh, the lads should feel proud of themselves today, you know, we're really. From being nitpicky, we really should be sitting here with 12 out of 12 points, but you know we can't do anything about that now. But we certainly, um, we certainly needed to um, needed to somehow uh, find a way to keep that clean sheet today, and, and I think everybody played the part. Absolutely, we took, we scored two really good goals as well, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, really good goals. I mean, Dex, Dex been doing that since I got here. No, he's, he's he's a fantastic footballer. He manipulates the ball so well, moves moves uh, moves defenders, and hits his shots quickly. And then you know, Daz, given given the time and space, um, proved that you know, as the game went on, he just showed how powerful and, and you know his, his athleticism and, and with, a, with a really calm finish that calmed everybody down. I'm never totally calm in that dugout, but um, for the last sort of minute at least, I was uh, I was a lot less calm, just Very a lot more calm. Just before that, I was a bit intrigued because it looked like Will Stanway was getting ready to come on. Was that a substitution you're thinking of making? Um, <laughs> David Fitzpatrick had told me that um, Lewis's hamstring had gone, so um, I, I had, had to get Will ready. Um, but he, he seemed oh, fine. I don't know whether he was just after a breather. But yeah, that, that's not. You very rarely have to make goalkeeping changes in the middle of a game. But that's something I thought I was going to have to do. And young Harrison, obviously alongside Simon, it was good for him to experience a clean sheet as well, wasn't it? Yeah, he's 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 getting better, isn't he? The younger lads are. You know, Marcus is having you know having a great uh, time of late as well. He just. Maybe ran out of steam a little bit after the amount of football he's played, and it was a very difficult day for strikers today because there wasn't there wasn't many there wasn't many balls played on the floor, and there wasn't much much link up play between the midfield and the forwards. But it was just one of those days. Um, and then we brought you know we managed to bring George on because to be honest with you, we're, we're so short of actual defender. George was George was probably being somebody I'd have, I'd have maybe have to put on the centre half at some stage. So that's the reason we did that. Absolutely, and can we now relax? We've been looking over our shoulders a bit, haven't we, in past weeks? Can we now relax? Do you think? I don't want to relax. You know, I want to. I want to. I want to get as many points on the board as we can and see where that takes us. You know, all the lads here, um, you know, they don't know where the futures are going to lie for next season, uh, including myself. So it's it's too important to uh, to relax, and we can't take the foot off the gas. What we can do is pro hopefully play with a little bit more freedom now after the results. But um, uh, now relaxing probably a word I'm going to use. Nice test for you up next, the leaders. Yeah, absolutely. You know, they've, they've, they've done fantastically well. Um, I've, I've got a real fondness for the club. Um, and they're just um, they're just going from strength to strength. I haven't seen the results today, but they've got so much pace and power at the top end and um, goal threats. But um, yeah, it, it, it's somewhere we, we, we go now with, I suppose, a nothing to lose attitude. Just be as solid as we were today and, and, and try and get the chances when, and take the chances when we can. It, you know, we probably had the... Th Three best chances of the game, and you know, uh, another day Matty would have slotted that, and, and, um, and it would have been even more impressive. But no, it was, it was just uh, it was good to get it done, and we've got a little bit of time now without a game. Maybe try and get some injuries back as well. Well done today. Thank you.